Introducing the all new Corolla. Every aspect of this bill is wrong. It must not receive any support and should be killed immediately. Governor Eddie Calvo is off island, so he asked Gita's public finance manager, Lester Carlson, to go to the legislature this morning and read his statement in opposition to Senator Ben Pangolinan's Bill 309. It is clear to me that some senators will stop at nothing to destroy her for the blind want of position and power. This bill isn't the problem. It's just the latest in a series of attempts to destroy what we've gained with just one wrong decision. The bill in question, number 309, would require any excess Section 30 funds received by GovGuam to be placed in the Supplemental Appropriations Revenue Fund to be appropriated by the legislature for, among other things, hiring an additional 20 full-time police officers, hiring more prosecutors and victim advocates for the AG's office, paying the unpaid 50% owed to various GovGuam employees, and expanding George Washington High to alleviate overcrowding there. DOE Superintendent John Fernandez opposed that portion of the bill that would expand GW High because it would make the new Teedson High School unnecessary. But he was supportive of other elements of the bill, as was Judiciary Controller Chris Budassi, who read a statement on behalf of the judiciary. Which identifies and appropriates additional Section 30 revenue above those adopted in Public Law 3268. Should Guam realize a third straight year of windfall Section 30 revenue, it would represent a tangible and real funding source uh, available to fully fund the remaining 50% uh, owed to the government of Guam employees. Uh, Bill 309 would also require the administration to file monthly rather than annual reports on the amount and status of Section 30 funding. Pangolinan charges that the administration has withheld information about incoming additional Section 30 funds over the past two years and he says he has reason to believe that an additional $20 million in Section 30 funding may be coming to GovGuam this year. The fiscal year 2013 act, uh, the administration informed the legislature there was $53 million, 451, in Section 30 revenues that would be remitted to the government of Guam. Where the actual receipt of Section 30 revenues subsequent to the enactment of the public law was $58 million, a difference of over $5 million that was hidden, never informed of by the, uh, the legislature, was not informed and not known to the legislature to be available for appropriation for things such as education, public health, and public safety. Bill number 309 makes very worthy appropriations, said the governor in his written response. The problem, he said, is that the appropriations are all based on money that isn't in any account, that no one knows will ever come in, and that could very well never materialize, said the governor. I will veto this measure and any other like it, which threatens the progress we've made to reverse the decline from the authors of this bill. Thank you for your time today, Senators. We hope you each make the right decision. Thank you. This is again uh, on behalf of Governor Cabo. Thank you very much. Please express our deep appreciation for his testimony. You know, in all the years I've been in the legislature, I've never really seen um, or heard testimony such as what was delivered by um, the Governor Lester uh, Carlson. And um, if anything else, I think this is slanderous. I mean, just to use all the words, the campaign begins, the election year politics, yes, cut the politics, stick to the issue. Most recently, even when we went through the public hearings for the SEIS, is that stick to the issue, and apparently that's not the case here. And I'm definitely um, really very, uh, it's disheartening to hear um, such a testimony. I, I agree, uh, Madam Speaker. I just didn't want to dignify it at all. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.